All right, so quick tour of the truck camper. Now that it's 95% done, got, uh, well, we'll start with all the cabinets. So I got all of the cabinets uh, stripped and painted, all new hardware, so new hinges, new handles. And uh, we painted everything um, kind of an off-white color. Got rid of that uh, plastic trim and did a nice aluminum trim. Heated this up and, and bent it, shaped it, so it uh, fits that radius uh, all the way down to the floor. And new uh, countertop refinished with the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, epoxy paint. And then the uh, Insta trim all the way around. Got the Insta trim. And uh, in the corners, I did aluminum, uh, just aluminum angle. Got my mini blinds hung back up. Got a new faucet with the uh, pull out nozzle. This one's great because it's a little bit taller and you can get a pot in there and still get water. The old one was only about this high and you couldn't uh, couldn't fill a pot with water. <laughs> so this one's perfect for this uh, for this sink. Um, painted all of the appliances uh, black to match uh, some of the other decor we're doing. So I uh, took the face off of the, the oven. I did the uh, exhaust vent. Took all that off and sanded it down and painted it. Uh, same with the refrigerator door panels. Those were just the wood panels. I sanded them, scuffed them up, and painted those. Uh, we did the backsplash with the peel and stick. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the peel and stick. I've got a couple of places where I need to touch up with some epoxy and re-stick them down, but it's it's coming up in this corner right here in a couple of spots. And I, I'm pretty sure I know why, um, just because it was off the truck when, when I put all this stuff on. And as soon as I put the camper on the truck, you know, things shift a little. It just caused a slight difference between the, the interior wall and the exterior sidewall, it only, you know, uh, a very little bit because the, the truck camper moves and it twists a little bit um, that's just how these things are um, did all the flooring so uh, all new peel and stick flooring I uh, redid the lid for the basement so this uh, opens much uh, wider now and I put a little stop there at the end to hold it open uh, covered the face of it with some faux leather and trimmed it out with uh, some angle aluminum and again I heated that up to make that bend you'll see the video a um, couple videos ago I did that in the slide out we pulled the dinette and did a sofa so I built this storage box that the sofa sits on and I just ordered this sofa online and it happened to be the exact perfect fit so um, I built a box and uh, with lots of storage underneath so this is a, a pocket here that's accessible from inside the camper and just on the other side of that little wall is the compartment which is the same size here uh, for the outside access door the center one goes all the way back so I've got my solar panel and my outdoor uh, mat my 12 by 24 outdoor mat and uh, another compartment here and this is the access for the happy jack motor uh, real happy with that I did magnet latches and uh, the sofa is great we're loving the sofa it's got this fold down center console so you can seat, you know, easily you can seat three people comfortably, four people if you're, uh, you know, not in a pandemic. <laughs> and it also folds into a bed. So I'll show you that here real, real quick. So all you do is lift forward and you'll hear this thing click. And once it clicks, 
it folds all the way down into a bed. So now you've got, you know, the same size bed. Actually, it's slightly uh, wider than the dinette was. And it's a little bit um, longer as well. So it, it'll actually uh, work for almost a six foot person. So this outer bed here, since you have a little bit extra room, you don't have this slide out bulkhead. You've got a little bit extra room on each side, about five inches on each side. So, you know, if your feet are hanging over, um, you know, the taller person can be on this outer one and then the or another person could be in there if you've got kids. Um, uh, otherwise, one person could, you know, sleep on this no problem at all, very comfortably. So that's really cool. Loving the, uh, loving the sofa. Just lift it back up. And then it stays in place. That folds back down. So I'm digging that. So, of course, you know, painted everything, trimmed out the slide out, the new slide out with uh, uh, the composite material. This is all composite, except for these corner braces, which is uh, marine plywood. It's Baltic birch, uh, marine plywood. And uh, I've got it covered in that same faux leather to match the sofa. Uh, in the bathroom, we've got a new toilet with a foot flush. It's a porcelain bowl. Um, it, it works great. It's um, slightly wider and slightly taller than the original uh, toilet, so it's much more comfortable. And uh, of course, the rest of the, the rest of the bathroom is the same except for the flooring. Um, we are going to replace these, um, you know, not very high quality 12 volt fans with a uh, fantastic type fan uh, from Hangs. So it's just a replacement. You pull out this unit, the, the inside part, and the, the new unit uh, uh, goes right into place, wires into the 12 volt, and it's got speeds forward and reverse and four different speeds. So that'll be kind of cool. Up in the bed area, the cab over bed area, I trimmed out all of this. This used to be that green carpet, and I trimmed all that out with the faux leather uh, to match everything else. Um, obviously new bedding still have our our platform for all the storage underneath um, nothing under there right now but we still have that and it still lifts up um, still lifts up and you can prop it open and you've got all this extra storage here so loving that um, obviously painted all the cabinets put in some uh, some mini blinds on both sides so I've got mini blinds on both sides there and then again I trimmed the top out with uh, Baltic birch quarter inch Baltic birch and that faux leather uh, the vinyl and same uh, 12 volt lights uh, with the touch on and off the reading lights uh, up front so there you have it it's, uh, we're really loving it. It's gonna be uh, much more user-friendly for us and uh, we can't wait to get out and start using this thing. We've got a, got a trip planned. We're gonna be uh, heading out to the Redwoods here pretty soon and then uh, up to Tahoe, hopefully up to Tahoe for uh, a few days. So some things on the outside, I obviously replaced this side skirt, uh, did new aluminum trim, resealed everything. Uh, the slide out is all new. Uh, this uh, outside wall, um, that's alu an aluminum frame wall. Uh, so there's no wood framing in that. That was uh, not rotten, but everything else was. So the floor, um, the side walls and the ceiling are all new. Uh, and I've used composite materials. There's no wood uh, at all. So composite uh, framework and uh, foam, um, uh, one inch, uh, one and a half inch foam uh, went inside those walls and uh, everything's sealed up and watertight. 
Got uh, all the framework done, all new wiper seal all the way around on the outside of the camper instead of how it was on the inside before for some reason. Uh, I don't know why Fleetwood put the wiper seal on the uh, inside of the sidewall. That just allowed all kinds of water to get in, which probably uh, contributed to uh, this, this, uh, all the floor and the sidewall and everything rotten, rotting out. The, uh, shoulder, so all underneath, this is all brand new. Uh, that's, it's all new. Uh, all this is new. A new city water inlet. This is all new fiberglass. Uh, on, I ripped out all of this. You can see on all the old videos, but this is an all new shoulder, so all new composite framing and fiberglass on both layers. So uh, fiberglass, um, foam, uh, composite on, on the outside, and then uh, more fiberglass. Everything sealed up, uh, all new uh, grade eight bolts for the tie downs. So I sanded and painted the tie down brackets and put all new hardware on. Um, when I rebuilt the slide out, I, I used uh, steel flashing on the corners, uh, tiered like a shingle on both top and bottom, and sealed everything uh, underneath and on the outside where any other molding meets that. Uh, everything's sealed up. So that should be, that should last many, many years. I'm uh, happy with the way it turned out. All right, so that's it. Truck camper is, like I said, it's about 95% done. I've got some things I want to do on the outside. Uh, got to polish the fiberglass and get a few uh, coats of wax on. And uh, I still have to reseal the tail lights. Everything else is pretty much resealed. Um, and then uh, over on the, the uh, passenger side uh, camper skirt, uh, I replaced the, the driver's side skirt and uh, I'm gonna eventually do the passenger side. It's not uh, rotten like the other one was, but I would like to do it in the uh, composite material anyway. But I, I wanna do uh, uh, something kind of cool on that side skirt, uh, which is going to uh, allow me to store my portable um, waste tank, so my, my, my tote. So I'll have a 15 gallon tote that I can uh, carry around with me uh, if, if we need to, uh, you know, have an extra 15 gallons of storage in our gray tank or black tank, we can do that. So got that to do. And then, um, yeah, I mean, just little small stuff. I'm sure that uh, on our uh, shakedown trip to the coast over to the Redwoods, we're going to find little things that probably need to be done. But, you know, that's always going to, that's, that's an ongoing thing when you've got an RV. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're really happy with the way this thing turned out and uh yeah hopefully you guys like the uh, video series it took a long time it was a lot of work but uh you know well worth it so anyway thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one later